there aren't many people around who can really make uh, life seem funny at all times, but George Carlin seems to. Here's a, a new album, I'm glad to say. George Carlin, FM and AM. But uh, rather than play this for you, I thought it would be better to bring him out here on the stage and let him do that himself. Here is the very funny Mr. George Carlin. <laughs> How you doing? Sound like you feel good. I'm in a new place here. I have to take a moment. You know, I've never stood here before. I just wanted to get used to it for a moment. It's nice and small and intimate. How are you anyway? Uh, on a different talk show, uh, a host asked me... <laughs> well, I don't mean at night necessarily. There are lots of them and some of them are local and there are many, many. Uh, the question is something, usually goes something like this. Uh, what do you think about the dope problem? And I say, definitely, I feel we have too many dopes. You know? <laughs> well, it's true. If, if you count everybody, if you count everyone, it's, it's kind of true, because we're all sort of dopey. I mean, being a human is really no big thing. We're just, you know, kind of dopey, walking around. How are you, Phil? You know, got any lettuce? There's really nothing. Got all sunburned on one side last weekend. You know, it's, there's nothing really big. Uh, and that's why there's this drug problem. Uh, that they call it this drug problem because we're just folks, you know, and uh, all these drugs are available. <laughs> and they train us how to use them even when you stop and think about it. I mean, every, don't you remember that phrase, uh, what's the matter, uh, something wrong, why don't you take something for it? Hey, give him something for that. Must be something he can take for that. Sure. <laughs> Go see the doctor, he'll give you something for it. Sure. You ought to be taking something for that. You should get used to that. They even make it easier to get started with a little orange flavoring in those little tablets for you when you're young. <laughs> a little orange. Don't like your head? Too orange in the mouth. <laughs> yes, there'll be other colors later on. <laughs> and that, that's the other thing is the, uh, you don't have to go to the drug company together. You go to the local connection, the drug store. <laughs> Where'd you hear about the drug problem? Well, a couple of people in the drug store were talking about. <laughs> you mean they have retail stores for this thing they're afraid of? Oh yeah, man. Every three or four blocks, big sign. Drug. <laughs> Hangs perpendicular to the building. You can see it down the block and around the corner. Drugs. <laughs> Open all night. Drugs. We deliver drugs. Cut rate drugs. It's the biggest word on the sign. Cosmetics. Fountain. <laughs> sundries. Drugs. <laughs> yeah, if a junkie came here from Mars, he'd really feel okay. <laughs> I'm living near the drugstore. But uh, it's true that almost everybody has some kind of thing they rely on. I mean, even if it's only something you buy at the grocery store, there are things that, uh, what, what I mean, let's start right at the beginning, George. Uh, the coffee freak. That's part of the drug scene, caffeine. It's a habit-forming stimulant. Nobody ever bothers about it that much, but there it is, that little lift. <laughs> Mrs. Olson never mentions that little lift because probably she's mainlining freeze-dried by now. <laughs> they say she'll snort a little at the store if the line's not moving fast enough. <laughs> Look for those brown stains on her nose. You know. Uh, but there are coffee freaks, and as I say, it's the low end of the speed spectrum. It might sound a little ridiculous, but... Uh, uh, you can't really go after alcohol and nicotine. I mean, those are the two most used drugs, the most abused drugs, among the most dangerous, and yet they're part of the scene. They support government, government supports them, they're okay. But the other stuff, uh, down the block, Phil's kid, they're isolated, you know, trying to isolate groups. I say, talk about it all. The coffee freak in the office, you see him near the urn. He's always, oh, he tries to be in charge of the urn if he can. That way he gets in an hour earlier before everyone else and drops about eight or nine cups before you've even seen him in the morning. <laughs> Always in a good mood. Hi, how are ya? Hi, good to see ya. Want some coffee? Okay, hey! Have a nice weekend? Good! He's always in a good mood until that urn breaks down. Then he's the first guy over. What do you mean, Barker Man? I wasn't working yesterday. Look at that red light. He's even down. Turn the foot around. Turn the foot around again. Never mind, man. I don't want to play. Jump in the full drive. Jump in the He's got to go down and cop at the luncheonette eventually. <laughs> Give me a gallon of black to go, would you? <laughs> 
Yeah, and speed is such a wrong word, really, because speed applies to more dangerous things. But things that kept you awake used to have more friendly names. Benzedrine was called Benny's. That sounds like your cousin, Benny. <laughs> There's a great mystique about Benny's. Yeah, a guy in college took a hundred of them and drove to Africa, learned everything in one night, man. <laughs> Mom found a little speed in those diet pills. She uh, found they did a little more than help her diet. <laughs> Made her grind her teeth and feel keen. <laughs> Kept her on the phone a lot, too. Hi, Marge, how are you? Well, anyway. <laughs> Where are you going, Mom? Shopping at midnight? Well, they're open. Never mind. See you later, man. I was going to go to she doesn't even wait for the bus anymore. She's walking to town now. Um, and the football player. Boy, people were surprised to find out football players were taking amphetamines. And when being up for the game used to be a kind of an emotional process. Now, man, hey, you up for the game? Win up all week, man. <laughs> There's a longer part on the end to see, uh, there's a thing about birth control that I put with this, because uh, it's my theory that most people take drugs to feel good, uh, to feel better. Uh, you don't feel good, take some, feel better. A little cup of coffee, cigarette, glass of wine, whatever you're into, it's to feel better. But birth control pills are not taken to feel good, they are taken not to feel bad later on. <laughs> I don't have time to develop that fully, so maybe I can say it from there, if that's okay. And thank you very much, see you at the panel. Yay! My local stations will be back.